morning, class. Today I will be speaking about the NBA and the women's NBA and how women are put below, like they're lower than men. So I want to start off by comparing the NBA to women's NBA. And as you can see, um, the NBA started in 1946, and um, they seem to have less breaks but more excitement in the games. Um, and they tend to attract more males and obviously females and the cheerleaders. So attract because of the cheerleaders, they attract more males. Um, they have more celebrity sightings, because like when you look on TV, you don't see the women's NBA. Their season is from October to April, so it doesn't interfere with the women's NBA because it goes from May to September. And when it comes to how much money they make, they make from $450,000 to $32 million, when women only can make $101,500. But sometimes they offer a bonus, if, like if they do something greater, like they, they've achieved something. Um, according to Charlie um, Zegers, um, they blame it on the media, popularity, and marketing, like I said. As you can see there, like on TV, video games, um, even sneakers, and even bracelets. As you can see, and they map it out like the NBA control, like when it comes to ba um, baseball, excuse me, basketball, they control the whole basketball contest. So I know you guys know who this is, right? Uh -uh. Yeah. Yeah. How about this? And I know you guys know who he is. Okay. But I don't know if many of you know who she is. Some of you may know her, some may not, because I myself didn't know her. I had to research to know who she was. Um, she's Candace Parker. Um, She's known for her roles as a forward. Um, she's received a bronze medal and a gold medal. One of them was from the Olympics. Um, she's the first woman to dunk in the NCAA tournament. And she's set a record for the points dropped in the women's NBA. And she commits her time to organizations like the March of Dimes and Ronald McDonald. But it's, it, to me, I feel like it all comes down to sexism. Sexism is discrimination and hatred against a certain sex. Um, and um, when, I, when it comes down to sexism, I say that because um, why should women get paid less than men? And why should they have less media? And why do they feel that women are capable to do things just like men? And they're considered weak just because they're female. And the women's NBA, and the NBA is just one example where women are put below, but I feel like this revolves around everything. When it comes to the government, it's only, um, you don't see women really running anything. Like when it came down to Hillary Clinton and all the other representatives trying to compete, just because she was women, she was already below other people. But why can't we be equal? Um, it seems like men have shaped our society and they feel that they're better, like I said. Um, and like I said, this world is mainly ran by men. But the question I leave you guys with is, what can we do to change the society? And that's my <laughs>